yes you can make your perfect yummy vanilla cookies from the comfort of your home with ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen so to make your vanilla cookies you'll be needing butter or margarine i already added my margarine into my bowl i'll be using this my mini rolling pin to mix my cookie butter okay you can use your wooden spatula or if you have a mini rolling pin just like mine it's fine so i added my sugar and my margarine in my bowl then i'm just going to use my um, rolling pin to mix now you don't need a mixer for this recipe okay with your wooden spatula you are good to go just continue creaming your butter sorry your margarine and your sugar together until it is pale you can see when i started mixing the margarine was like the color was so yellowish now you can see we have achieved this pale yellow color so after achieving this i'm going to go in with my egg i'm using one egg for this recipe please do well to check the comment section i'm going to pin the recipe and measurement in the comment section okay do wait to check it out so after adding my egg i'm just going to mix 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 for everything to be properly incorporated so you are just going to mix after doing that i'm going to go in with my vanilla extract i'm using one teaspoon of my vanilla extract next i'm going to add one over eight teaspoon of my butterscotch flavor okay so this is optional if you don't have the butterscotch flavor you can make your cookies without it okay it enhances that buttery flavor you are going to get in your vanilla cookies so once that is done just mix the flavor next you are going to go in with your um all-purpose flour now i'm going to add the flour bit by bit then i also added my half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder so like i said earlier do where to check the comment section okay for the pinned um recipe and measurement now after adding the first batch of flour my baking powder and salt i'm just going to mix then i'm going to add the other half of my um flour i'll continue mixing now i'm still going to continue the mixing with my hand because the um, butter is like it's a doughy form like you can see on your screen already so i will just continue with my hand welcome to the channel guys it's your favorite chef recognize and of course this is another amazing recipe so using my hand i'm just trying to mix everything okay to get a perfect dough and for everything to be in place once that is done i'm going to sprinkle some flour on my work surface then i'm going to add my um, cookie dough now i shared my dough into into two parts okay you want to roll that with your rolling pin please don't apply pressure okay because this dough is very very um soft okay don't apply pressure just do it gently roll out your cookie dough gently so i'm going to roll out my dough to be about half inch thick you can decide to make yours even thicker according to your preference okay but note that the thicker your um, cookies the longer it's going to stay in your oven okay. so once that is done these are the um, cutters i'm using i'm just going to go ahead to start cutting out my cookies now you just want to place your cookie cutter and use your hand to press it in okay then you lift it and continue with the process just like that if this is your first time coming across my channel you are highly welcome please do wait to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when i drop a new video to my returning subscribers thank you all so much 
for supporting the channel and always coming back to watch my video you guys are the re mvp and i don't take your love and support for granted so at this point i'm creating my oven already and i've lined my baking tray with my parchment paper so i'm going to be baking my cookies at 180 degree so you have to preheat your oven before you even start the process of making your cookies because this doesn't take much time and you want your oven to be at 180 degree already before you place your cookie inside the oven so you want to gently remove the excess part of your cookies dough okay then with the help of um, a spatula i'm going to gently lift up my cookie which i've already cut so this dough like i said is very soft you want to be very gentle while lifting it up okay i'm using this my mini palette knife to raise my cookie then i will place it on my tray that i have already lined with my parchment paper So you are going to continue with your remaining dough and all the excess cookie dough you removed from the previous cutout okay you are just going to keep kneading and rolling till you exhaust all your cookie dough now look at how beautiful these cookies are i'm just going to pop this right into my oven to bake i'm going to leave this for 10 to 15 minutes after about 12 minutes the cookies were ready and they came out so beautiful and super nice thank you so much if you've watched this video up to this moment please do well to give this video a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe if you've not done so i will see you all in my next video stay blessed stay happy and stay safe bye